Okay, let's look at how to create an on new artifact trigger for a CD pipeline. Here is the app I'm going to use. This is the code for a Linux Tweet app. And I'll really quickly show you a uh, harness build pipeline that builds uh, that code and then pushes it to a uh, registry, a Docker Hub. And then I'll show you the uh, pipeline that's going to pull that container down and deploy it to um, a Kubernetes cluster. And I'll show you the manifest and the uh, values file that I use, and then we'll look at the deployed app. So really quick, since we're focusing on um, triggers for CD, I'll just very quickly show you this pipeline where I build the code. So all I do, my code base pulls it from that same repo, and then my execution step, I'm simply going to push it to Docker Hub, to this repository, and that's it. I'm going to tag it with the sequence ID of the pipeline. Every time you run a pipeline, the sequence ID increments by one, and so that'll get the, that'll be the tag. And I've done this once before, so you see the tag is one. I've done that I've done it once. Okay, so now if we go to our CD pipeline, here's our stage, and here we have a values YAML, and I'll show you what that is. That's just this guy here. And let me just double check which one it is. It is ng values, thank you. Um, and so all it is is it's going to be um, getting a name from a stage variable, but it's going to be grabbing the artifact image from wherever we put it in our artifacts list here. So you use this expression, artifact.image, to pull it the container from there. So it'll be grabbing this guy. If you hard code your artifacts into your manifest, then uh, you cannot use an on new artifact trigger. You have to have the artifact here. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, I'm simply using that, that values file. The manifests are just in here, and they will be just using the values files, the values, the name, and so on, the artifact. So the infrastructure is just a Kubernetes cluster in the default namespace, and the execution step is just a rollout. Okay, so I've already done it once, and if I look over here in uh, my cluster, you can see one right here. Now if I go back, and we want to create a trigger to do this. So we'll add a new trigger, and we'll choose artifact, and we'll choose docker registry, um, and I'll just call this tweet uh, trigger. Okay, and we'll select the artifact, and there it is, the artifact that we have loaded into our stage. So I'll select that one, it's going to use the, the number that's supplied, I'll click here, and so for conditions I could uh, set it up for the tag if I wanted to, um, and uh, or labels that are in the uh, docker definition. So here I'll just do the pipeline, I'll say create trigger. Okay, so the trigger's all set up to go, it's going to listen on this guy here in Docker Hub. So let me build this again. I'm going to run my, I believe it is master main, it is master. I'm going to run my build stage and build my container. This will just take a minute. I'll pause it if it's taking too long, but it should only take a minute. push using the docker file that's in the root here. Very simple. And I push the image. So now if I go up here and I refresh, I should see a second one. And there we go. So since our deploy pipeline is listening, our trigger is listening to this, if we go to execution history in this guy, he should start to execute, and he is. So um, let's look. We can actually uh, watch it in deployments as it's deploying, and we will get, let me go back here and double check it, because I think, yeah. Now that was 18 minutes ago. It'll take a second. Let me go back to deployments here. 
There we go. <laughs> now it's running. So here it is running. Based on that trigger, I didn't manually do it. And you can see it deploying right here. It's waiting for steady state. Very quick. And it's going to wrap up. All done. And there we go. And so now if I go to my repo here and I refresh, excuse me, not my repo, my cluster, and I refresh, there we are, revision number two. And that's all. So the uh, on new artifact trigger listened, and when the new artifact was built and pushed, um, it fired the uh, deploy pipeline and deployed it to our target cluster.